we get to find out, as do you, the last semi-final of this World Championships, Mohamed Khalil Jandoubi against Jang Chun, and that is coming up next. Aquaton from France in charge of this one. Good experience for him. Especially with the Olympic Games in Paris in the offing. Who's going to be in contention? Could it be one of these two? This World Championship final will certainly help on the ranking points on that path to Paris. So Mohamed Khalil Jandoubi on the way into this one. And we talked with him in Paris and it was funny because it's not funny for him obviously. He won silver medal in Olympic Games and three silver medal this year. That's right. In all three Grand Prix and he told us I won gold so this is a new opportunity for him. And look at the fight, 2-0 every fight. That's a great score. He's been at his best, Sefadine Trablesi, the coach there. A World Championship bronze medalist in Puebla back in the day. This fighter won't want to see him here. Eyes on the prize for him. Can he get himself into the final? Chang Chun with a wave there. <laughs> Ohiri behind them, likewise. Originally from Hong Sung High School, then to the Olympic University in Seoul. And next year to Kogas, the pro team, and he's certainly a professional, one of the main faces in the sport for a, for a while. As you said, one of the main faces. Uh, two colleagues, one silver medalist. Uh, Jang is bronze medalist for the Olympic Games and current world champion, so. He had one goal this year, I think, in Rome, but as his colleague, 2-0 every fight. And I think we have here two really tall fighters. Yes, both 182, age 22 for Korea and 20 for Mohamed Jandubi. So everything is pretty the same, but I think the styles are opposite. We'll get to see that clash of styles as well. We'll mention the quality of the coach in the Tunisian corner. Ohiri as well in the Korean corner. I love her, I love her style. I think that she can put a good energy in Korean team. I saw her first time last year as a coach. Right. And I think her and Fox and Kyung are a great team because with two of them, four Olympic medals, that's insane. In one category, so I think they can contribute a lot. Can indeed, but changing me as well, the intellect and the quality of the relationship with the fighters. So good to see coaches ready, PSS ready as well. Should do be in jam. Well, we had the atmosphere in the last one. Torpedo de Aquila too good and too strong for too long. He's into the final. But it's this long legged pair here. Who will start fastest? Jang Chun. Quite happy to just pick up the leg and signal to Engelbert Agbaton that he's been picked low. Both men, a clash of the front legs to start. Jindubi in blue, and of course Jang in red. They're just taking their time, running through the database of moves in their head to stick or twist. Coming forward, Jindubi. 
looking for work in the clinch, but no space. I don't know how they find the space with, with, with these legs, honestly. <laughs> I think they've got no hips. I think the hips are made of... No hips, no knees, elastic. no ankles, yeah. nothing. A ball of elastic inside a PSS. But not having a ball at the moment. Jean Dubé giving away the gam jump for being too much blocking with the legs on the inside. Chang Chang gets for a little punch. Minute 20. Or not? No, I think you're right. The coach Trebalesi actually had a little say to Jindubi, should I play it? They said no. It wasn't far off. But no point in playing the card too early. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, the champ speaks, you should listen, but listening in intently to their coaches, who can find an option halfway through the first? Jan Chan up on his toes. Back leg turn the kick, not any power behind it. Good block from the Tunisian. Both are not doing so much to know say, this. We gave it the big build up, they're going to do this, and <laughs> yes. I've taken it conservative. <laughs> Sorry, but no, we both only did. pushing and clashing, yeah. and sometimes I really don't have what to say. This was a nice try with, with a short kick from the inside, but he deserved all the countries of the zero for, for Korea. Half a minute, tail of two gam jumps. Gam jumps, of course, penalties. Jang Chan also has a green light on in his favour. That's if you hit the protector, but it doesn't score. But it does register the power. Follow that if you can. Following it into the clinch for the last 20. I think Jim Ruby didn't even make uh, a hit level. If I'm seeing correct, it's still a zero. And now, oh, this is the first one, but it is score, so it's 2 0 for, for Jan. Yep, Jan Jan will happily take at least the gam jump on the way out as he heads off back to his coach. Jin Dubé might have one last fling at it to try and step. Jang Chun, though, gives him a nod. And they're both now within touching distance of the second round. And as we see just on the face here from Jang Chun, you maybe tell us, Melissa. If your first match, I mean, these guys are highly ranked, so maybe their first match is around, I don't know, 10, 30, yes. something like that. Are you coming here at 8 a.m.? Are you coming here at 9 a.m.? Are you there at 7? What, what's your, if this it was you? Is, uh, if it was me, because if you have random in the morning, you obviously need to put your alarm really early just to see if you're there. So if you're not, you can go to breakfast, you can go to eat. But as a seed number two, I think he, he was here from early in the morning just watching his opponents of, and... Fighting, you know, I usually need one hour to warm up at least, sometimes more. It depends <laughs> how I'm feeling that day, but it's hard to be 12 hours awake and ready and focused and just to have the same stamina and, and speed in every fight. Yep, key points as you see the stamina, but also sometimes the noise, the lights, the whole thing, it can be quite a, a difficult oh, it's, thing. It's horrible for me to be all full day in the venue even if I'm not competing like now, I have to go out for a little bit. It's really tiring to be all day in the gym. But the time spent in the gym, and it's not shy in retiring from Jang Chun. He pushes one on the board, two up. Jindubi now, as you mentioned, can he get some hits on the board? He's got every, every skill you need. But Jang, of course, a master of distance. Either too close or too far away every single time. I like now, we've seen more of Jang. Chop kick the face. After that, one back leg turning kick. It didn't score, but we've seen more than a clash and a push. As you rightly say, the clash and the push, it's been a clash of styles. Can do be trying with a little front leg counter. Don't, don't, sorry, don't, don't get me wrong, I, to, I totally understand this style. He's current world champion and he does want to make a mistake, both of them, but. Sometimes it's harder for us. <laughs> oh, no question. Well, they're both playing the system rather than playing Taekwondo. They're working yeah. out what's the shortest path to make it through. Speaking of that path, a minute or so gone. You can see for yourself the scores on the board. So what for Jindubi to do? He's one round down as well. The little one next to the two at the top left of your screen. There's a shot though. Uh, 
I thought it was blocked and <laughs> Jiang showed the block but he scored underneath of that so for 2 2. Good. Yeah, a momentary lapse in concentration from the Korean, almost going up to the head there. Chun Dubi turning it on, still the green light in favour of the Korean. There's a little sense of socks. Sensing trouble though is Jiang Chun. Sometimes it seems to me like he's doing enough for win, you know. He turned the engine on when he's, <laughs> he's not leading or the, the result is tied, but we'll see. Jean Ruby is a great fighter. We saw how experienced he is. He wants to be in the final, but we have 20 seconds more. Yeah, for sure do. As you say, he's turned the engine on. Can he go through the gears now? Because he's got two hits on the board, and the hits don't lie. However, another nice kick on the inside from Jang Chun. Is there any chance there? Well, Jean Duby has a little look at his coach. Unmoved, last 10 seconds, two point game. Jiang Chun can't believe it. Steps through with the reverse turning kick, whistles past. Into the last five we go. Will it be into the final for Jiang Chun? Quite rightly, playing the card yeah. here as a gam job given as well. Yeah, they, maybe they want to try with a head kick, but I think that was far away. It was it maybe was, too high. Yes, yeah, too high. The momentum was good, speed was good, but I I think he didn't score. We'll what? see. We yeah. made so many mistakes in the last seven <laughs> days, so I don't want to talk anymore. That's true. Up and over. Oh, that looks... Unless he flicked it on the way. No, no, no. no. So watch, what, really watch the reverse misses, and then does he bring it back? No, he doesn't. So the car looks more than likely to be of no avail, however the gam jump for stepping out makes it a one point game so even if the card is gone shindubi has got his breath back if he can get a score on the board yeah. justifiably so one score required for Tunisia five seconds in which to do it, Jang Chun has one foot in the final, one foot to the body though for Shindubi, tries to kick on the inside, Jang Chun trying to avoid the gam jump. can he make it, well he get the gam jump at the end there, the referee can have a look Yep, signals there to Jiang Chun. By the very nearest of Valjins, good show of respect between the two. But back to his very best now, Jiang Chun. Yeah, as, as I told you, I think like when it's tied, I'll work harder and 